Appreciate that. I, I think uh, uh, my liberal talked about hallway medicine. Um, the liberals had 15 years, 15 years in the province of Ontario. And at the end of your term of 15 years, we have hallway medicine. Right here in Niagara Falls and right across the province of Ontario, we have seniors today that go to the emergency room. They're put in the hallway and they're left there for days, left there for days without getting care. Some end up in the janitor's room. It makes absolutely no sense. So what we're going to do, we're going we're to fix hallway medicine in the province of Ontario. We're going to fix home care, which, is in, which also is in crisis. We need more beds in our hospitals. That's why they can't get out of the hallways. There's not enough beds in our hospitals. doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter if it's in Niagara Falls, doesn't matter Welland, St. Catharines, a new hospital. We're gonna we're gonna create two thousand new hospital beds. So no, it will not be privatized under a liberal government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Demisio. Next to speak will be the NDP candidate Wayne Gates. Wayne. Well, I'm uh, not really sure what that answer meant, but I can tell you right now that the uh, uh, your party did privatize uh, Hydro. Uh, it was going. It went up three hundred percent. Uh, under the PCs and the Liberals, because it was actually the PCs that started to privatize in the first place. And we have said very clearly uh, that when 85% of the residents of the province of Ontario said, don't privatize Hydro, you got an obligation as a government to listen to them, and you chose not to listen to them, and you sold it off. You sold it off to a private uh, company now, and we have said all along to keep Hydro One public. And you know what's happened? A CEO there, Mayo Smith, now is being paid $6.2 million, who says he feels our pain on Hydro bills. Are you kidding me? Somebody making $6.2 million feels our pain of seniors and single moms and single dads? You absolutely have privatized Hydro. What we'll do, we'll, we'll listen to the residents of Ontario. We'll bring it back into public hands where it belongs and where it should have stayed. Biggest mistake your government ever made. Much and yes, seniors uh, build our communities, and uh, in their in their senior years, they should be treated with respect and dignity uh, by everybody. Some of that stems from we, we need more long-term care beds. Do you know today in the hospitals today we have people that are in the hospital for six months, eight months because they can't find a long-term care bed. It makes absolutely any sense. And when you get into a long-term care bed, uh, some people are sitting there for eight and nine days, not even getting a bath. Uh, we have Bill 33 that came for it. The min minimum amount of care every day, four hours for seniors. Uh, and guess what? Your, your government, the Liberal government, turned that down. Can you imagine that? Uh, turning that down for our seniors. Uh, we will make sure that dental care, dental care, and I can tell you to come in my office, it brings tears to your eyes. They, they come in, their mouth is hurting so bad, seniors, because they can't afford to go to the dentist. Some haven't gone to the dentist for years. And, and their teeth are so bad. And I'm begging dentists to please help them, please help them. Are the NDPs going to bring in a, a, a dental care program for everybody in the province of Ontario? It should have been done a long time ago. Thank you, Thank you. And the residents that are listening today, you can have six, $6.1 billion that you have a hole and you have to do something with $6.1 billion. The last, person, last time I heard we were going to find efficiencies in the province of Ontario was Mike Harris. And you know what? What happened? We ended up closing 26 hospitals, 7,000 nurses were laid off, and people in Walkerton, because of the cuts to the service, were dying from drinking a basic need like water. So when you talk about efficiencies, efficiencies means cuts. That's exactly what it means. Thank you.